bring the knee up and then straighten the leg. Exhale, toe touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, toe touch. Good. Inhale and extend. Exhale, toe touch. Inhaling, extend. And then this time, just thread your foot through. Come into hammock. Stay here for a few deep breaths. Put this behind your neck this time. Try something different. And then just hold on to the leg loop. Keep the chin slightly tucked into your chest and you can drop the hips. So at first it feels a little funny, but then you're like, oh my god, this is so great. <laughs> if your neck isn't completely happy, go back to the first one where you put the leg loop on like a t-shirt. But if you can get a good neck stretch here, let that feel good. Again, gently rock your hips from side to side. Beautiful, one more deep breath. Slowly release. I'm gonna bring that leg down. And then come back sumo squat. So far so good? Awesome. So let's actually come all the way up, slide the swing a little further into our waist, and try hooking one of our legs. So we're gonna try those toe touches one more time. I just wanted to see what it, give you guys the beginner version. So now we're going to lean back. We're going to hook our right leg around just one side of the swing. You have to lean back a lot. Yeah, hook your right leg. Nice. As soon as you hook, you're going to just let your foot float out to 3 o'clock. So we're sitting up. So we have the left side coming up into our armpit. So sit, so sit up for me. There you go. Let it slide into your armpit. Mm -hmm. The side slides into the armpit. All you have to do is drop your hips and that'll happen. <laughs> there you go. Keep your arms down because your anchor is around your, your underarms. Keep both arms down. Awesome. Okay, but it's up to 3 o'clock, right? Inhale, reach back with your right arm. Extend your left leg, holding on to the swing. Let's do a couple toe touches here. Inhaling, extend, exhaling up. So lean back so you're in a plank. There you go, lean back a little bit more. There you go. Five of those at your own pace, your own time. Nice. After your last one, just extend your arm and your leg and hang. Oh, dancer pose. Just let that feel good. Keep holding on to the swing with your left hand. Can you bend your knee and reach back and grab for your foot? You can come to a half bow. We're only going to do a couple more dynamic movements and the rest will be restorative, I promise. <laughs> Inhale, sitting back up. So you're going to actually stand on your left leg and straighten your right leg out to the side. Mm -hmm. Oops, say hug. That's what I did. Lean back. Yeah. There you go. Come stand. Pull, your, pull yourself up to stand. Extend that leg. There you go. Very good. All right, so I'm going to hold on. To the swing with my right, I'm going to press, press the leg. Just holding on to the leg with the foot. Just hold on to the top of it. There you go. Keep rolling your chest down. Let's all point our toes to the blue wall. There we go. Beautiful. So nice big stretch to the shoulders and stretch to the hips. You guys feel that? Amazing. <laughs> okay. Both hands are going to come forward and hold on to the leg with there we go. All right. So if you're feeling very adventurous, we're going to do a flip, a side flip. If you're not feeling adventurous, just stay here. And if you want to try it, we're going to pick up our bottom leg and bring it through the center and come to stand. So you just keep rolling your chest down towards the ground and pick up your bottom leg. Towards the front. Yeah. Yeah. Your left leg, right, goes towards the front. Just back down and we'll come back out. We're all going to meet in our, in our standing pose. Just roll forward, pick up your bottom leg. Doing what do I do? Doing? Hold on with your hands. Just pick up your bottom leg. Pick it up. Just bend your knee. Oh, yeah, bend the knee. Bend your knee. Pick up your foot. Bring it through center. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's just nobody ever wants to do a face plant, so the first one is always a little tricky. All right. It's really easy. <laughs> it's so easy, but we just did a flip, so it's exciting, right? It's more like a roll. <laughs> so we're going to get the swing behind us. Let's stretch it down into our waist. Okay, get it down a little further. Okay, it'll be easier to lean back, hold on to the swing, kick your left leg up. Your right leg, if you're just floating, you're going to slide out to the side. Okay, so slide out to the left side. Okay, do this, hold on to the swing. Yeah. Keep your arms down because this is your anchor. Okay, good, that's perfect. So it's a nice big hamstring stretch, right? We're just mm -hmm. hanging out. Now when we lean back, the swing should be kind of at our ribs. Mm -hmm. So just lean back. Yeah, there you go. Lean back and then extend your left arm out. Go for the right toe touches. Okay, so light toe touches. Just do five of those. Get your core engaged before we try to do the side spins. Nice. At your own pace and at your own time, just let it feel good. No one really loves doing core. These are some of my favorites. And after your last one, you're just going to extend. Extend your arm, extend your leg into dancer. Just let that feel good. Enjoy the belly stretch. So after doing the core strengthening, we want to extend through the belly. If you can bend your back knee, grab for your foot. Half bow. Awesome. Release your foot, come to stand. So get your right leg underneath you. Extend your left leg out. Okay. Press away. So left arm presses. <laughs> now I'm all nervous with the spider. It's not a spider. Okay, now belly rolls down towards the ground. We're going to hold on to our leg loop with our right hand. This is like our training wheels. We wouldn't even need to use it, but it makes the spin a lot easier. So keep rolling your belly down towards the ground. Both hands hold on to the leg loop. Okay? So your chest is going to stay level with the earth. You're just going to pick up your bottom leg and spin it through center. Woo! Jedi kicks. Really nice, guys. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Nice. So I just wanted to do just a little bit of acrobatics with you so you guys could get a taste. Is there anything else you guys want to do? What would you like to practice? Can you think of anything you'd like to try in class? I have an idea. Why don't we bring the swing in front of us? So we're not going to go all the way over, but I'm going to show you guys how to do the handhold so we can do kind of a flip. We'll do a half flip. Okay? So we're going to wrap, do a wrist wrap. So put them on top of your wrists and then grab them. Perfect. Awesome. So we're going to kick our swing out in front of us and do a couple leg stretches. So you want to basically kick your swing out. Let's all start <laughs> with, I'm going to do the same direction as you guys, so I don't have to do the dyslexia thing. <laughs> Okay, left leg out. Yeah, you get the leg looping in the arch of the foot. And then just lean forward. Okay, lean forward and then rock back. Lean forward. Inhaling here. Exhale, just rock back to center. Ooh, big standing splits. Stretch, huh? Exhale, back to center. Awesome. One more time, just lean forward. Exhale back. So let's hold on tightly. Let's pick up our bottom leg. We're just going to swing. Whee! Fun, right? So if you can, press your left foot strongly into the swing and just bring your knee up. You're not going to go too far. Just look back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm really swinging. Go, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just take one at a time. <laughs> Now bend your knee out to the side. Let's come into a floating pigeon again. Okay. So we're rolling up to the outer edge of the left foot. So if we, if we want to hang one more time, we can pick our knee up on the right side and do a little I dream genie. <laughs> and then we're going to extend again. Really good. Keep holding on with your left. Release your right arm out to the side. Balance. Beautiful. Okay, let's 
switch sides, so turn towards center. I like to hold on to the swing, but hold on to something, either a handhold or the swing, and then rotate it. All right, both hands forward. We're just gonna let this slide into the knee. Keep holding on to the swing, press forward, so you're gonna come onto the ball of the foot. Forward lunge. You can actually let the swing balance on your shoulders and bring your arms up if you feel comfortable enough to do that. Awesome. And then we're gonna come left shoulder through, straighten the left leg, grab for the toe, toes, and then come into a twist. So I'm kind of rolling down onto my foot. Yeah, good. If you wanna grab with both hands and you feel like you can balance, come all the way down. That's a big twist, so if you wanna hold on to the swing, you can just hold on. Beautiful, nice balance, guys. All right, bend the knee, let's come back through center. Press that into the ankle. So I'm gonna hold on to turn over. So the knee bends down towards the ground, coming into Nataraj, really good. Find your balance, grab the swing with both hands. Now I'm not sure how many guys you normally do Nataraj, but it's usually challenging, right? So you're gonna slide your hands down a lot, and then start to lean your chest forward and pull up. So just extend the leg, there you go. So hold on to the swing with both hands, if you can. Yeah, so reach like over your head. <laughs> and just lean forward, that's good too. <laughs> Alright, and just come into your fullest expression as far as you want to go for today. Really good, and then come back to stand. Find your handles. Coming back to our handholds. Alright, so this is how we're going to switch sides. <laughs> we're going to get both feet in, and then come to the second side. Beautiful, we're going to reverse it. It's very nice. Nataraj on the second side. Now if we do Nataraj this way, really good guys, we're just gonna hang, right? So we're gonna just pick up our left foot and hang. Mm -hmm. Really good. It's a little bit bigger of a shoulder stretch, not so much of a quad stretch, unless we press our foot, foot away. Press your foot away strongly, and then we get the quad stretch. Beautiful guys. Really good. Then we're gonna land it. Okay, we're going to roll back over, so release your hand holds, grab back onto the swing. So, you can hold onto the swing and pull it towards you for this variation, flex your foot back, and then just lean forward. So, you can actually wrap your arms around if you're feeling balanced enough to drop your chest towards your knee. Come into a big hamstring stretch. Is that feeling good? Mm -hmm. Everybody can feel their sweet spot. <laughs> Walk your hands back up. Let's bend our knee in. We can actually transition to the outer edge of the foot. So I like the arch of the foot a little bit better for this one. And then if you want to hang, find your hand holds. If you're happy where you are, you can just stay holding on to the swing. Lots of different hand variations. And then pick your knee up for the Arjuna chain. Please. Play a little bit in the space. Just undulate a little from side to side. See what happens if you put your knee down towards the ground more. Ooh la la. Alright. So we're going to come fully extended. Keep holding on with your right. Release your left out. Turn your toes to the blue wall. So what happens if you lean towards the windows? Lean towards the windows. Ooh, my goodness. It's a big inner thigh stretch, right? Come back through center, find your balance. Hold on to the swing of both hands to change sides. So toes point forward, hold on with your left, and revolve. You know, we're just getting some leg stretches in here, so whatever feels good, just do that for today. Beautiful, guys. Both hands hold on to the swing. Just bring it into the knee. Lean forward. Forward lunge, arms up for balance. The swing is going to hook at the shoulders. Beautiful. If you want to bring your right arm through, straighten the right leg, grab for the toes. Left arm can reach up towards the swing, or it can come overhead and grab for the foot with both hands. 
versus a much more dense stretch.